Okay, welcome back. This is gonna be an epilogue video for our Guild Wars 1 Prophecies playthrough because we finished the campaign. We've been messing around capturing skills, but we're gonna go back to Drachnor's Forge and we're gonna start a kind of mini series uh, to take on the Sorrow's Furnace. And yeah, before you're asking, oh my gosh, is he ever going to start a new playthrough? Yeah, I'm going to start a new playthrough. Uh, I posted a po I, I posted a post, posted a poll of uh, what you guys think I should do next. And people are voting on it currently. I want to, I want to let it, uh, give it some time to develop a little bit. So uh, if you have, if you're watching this as of now, um, it looks like we're... What, what is the poll saying? You go to my channel and you go to community. Uh, it looks like we're 40% people are voting towards continuing on to Eye of the North. And 60% is continuing with my Mesmer over to Faction. So if you're not happy with those choices, go over to my channel. Click on the, the community tab and you'll see my poll. And then... Uh, you know make your vote count i guess <laughs> it's not that big of a deal but anyway i want to i want to allow some time for more and more people to get their say before we move on to the next campaign so i want to try and tackle sorrow's furnace so in order to do that we're going to go from drachnor's forge over to deldramor war camp and i'm bringing back the ineptitude build we used it only one video and it was quite strong uh so we're gonna give it another shot here mm, i want to use since we're using fragility i definitely want to use uh archer and mage cultist stefan and bra little tom does have a deep wound so we might go with him but it doesn't really matter Ste stefan has some interrupts though I already have deep wounds, so I'm going to bring Stefan, actually. And, oh, there we go. Let's go to Deldramore War Camp. I don't think there's any quest that actually helps us find it. I just know we have to go kind of a long ways. We have to get to a place called Grint's Footprint, and I believe it's this, like, north uh western direction we got to go through talus shoot for sure gonna be kind of an exploration mode gonna get lost for sure 100 percent but we're gonna get to test some new skills new builds that sort of thing with our last mission our last episode uh we that i recorded i just captured pretty much all of the remaining mesmer spells elite skills so i think the only one we're missing is that one that we missed in the last mission panic i do need to go back and get that eventually nice. i cast the in ineptitude way too early at the start of the battle but yeah i uh i the only one the only mesmer elite we're missing is is panic so might go back and get it eventually, but I want to get onto this Soros Furnace mini series. And we're going to be getting our exploration. I noticed our title. We have, um, what's it called? Tyrian Exploration. We're 50% of the way. We need to hit that 60 to, in order to get the title. I don't know if I'm going to worry about maxing out titles at this point, but. It's something to think about later on. Oof. But that three digit number though is just so good. Yeah, we only used an episode once in one previous video, so I decided to bring it back just to see exactly how OP it is. I don't know if it's going to be that effective in inside the Soros Furnace because 
We're going to be dealing with some balanced parties with like healers, necromancers, warriors, mesmers, all those kind of uh, balanced parties. So we might, we might deviate from this and go a more like uh, energy, like an energy surge build or maybe, yeah, some kind of anti-healer counter build. But I need to, uh, I need to see, I need to test it out first. Test the waters of Soros Furnace. I remember when Soros Furnace first came out because it was like the game was already set and then they were announcing this like free expansion pretty much. And it was really cool because you, it was, you didn't have to pay any money and it was like a whole new set of quests and items. And it was really exciting um, to see that at that time before the age of DLCs and mission packs and whatever there was a time where where companies just gave us free content for people who you know we paid for the game already they want to see people continue to enjoy it so they just added new areas new content all that stuff all right don't need any of that stuff Looks like I can see a little bit of the map here. That green arrow is telling us that that is a exit. So even though it's not our quest, we're going to use the arrow to help navigate through here. Yeah, sometimes you can kind of make out the path. In these areas even though i haven't explored there i can clearly see that's the route i need to go monk boss down there oh this will be an interesting test of our build these blessed griffins though have spell shields that's a little bit annoying Oops, i just cast it on the same guy twice i need to make sure to get fragility off on them Oh, they already got it. He already used it. Ooh, that hurts. There we go. Once spell shield wears off, we need to quickly get our skills off on him. Like that one. The enchantment removal would have been good here. Basically, just... Yeah, we only have a few of our teammates able to do any damage here. There we go. Oh, the Avakara are joining in. These guys are not going to be too big of an issue. Oh, they're using fragility on me. I don't know if Echo was the right skill to bring for this because Ineptitude is already an AoE hex. I need to be using it more. I shouldn't be casting it as often as I am, I guess, because I'm actually yeah, wasting some energy that way. Whoops, wrong skill. I should make sure I check. Yeah, it's a 142 that damage is from Ineptitude. And then I can go ahead and cast another one. Or if they're separated like that, then I can easily work it in. There we go. Nice battle. Probably should have gone back to get that gold, but. Two feathers, that's it. Come on. 
We have a lot of interrupts, it looks like. I'm hearing that that little clicking noise whenever there's a interrupting sound. Okay. I have to say, uh, this is really nice. I, I think I kind of prefer Fever Dreams, though. Burr, wind burn. Come on, guys. <clears throat> these, these uh, names. <laughs> so I cast, I cast ineptitude way too early again because these are elementalists and monks. So of course they're not going to be auto attacking from that far away. I need to really make sure I'm using it only to counter melee or uh, hacking enemies. There we go. I have to remember it. Ineptitude is not the same as clumsiness. It only are or, or not the same as in empathy. It's the same as clumsiness. It's only four seconds. So if I cast it way too early, it's just a wasted skill. I know that, but can I remember? There's a cave here? No. Just a random, like, furnace? Huh. Interesting choice. Camp Rancor. I think this is, a uh, outpost. Yeah. And this has a back exit, so. Yeah, I can't believe there's still areas we haven't been to. I could, I guess, start capturing some non-Mesmer skills, but I don't really have anything that I want around here. Maybe I could capture, uh, what's it called? The, um... Spiteful spirit, but let's just keep going. Yeah, I'm going to keep using ineptitude. I need to use it a little more wisely. Maybe instead of arcane echo, I can put a stance or something like uh, mantra of frost, maybe. <laughs> or drain enchantment might be good. The thing about Drain Enchantment is it, on those griffins, you if if they're spell shielded, you still can't cast it on them. Let's use. Yeah, I can spam my hexes, so I don't need Mantra of Persistence. Hmm. Fired Hex might be good. I don't know. Let's just use Arcane Echo. It'll just be a little I just need to be a little smarter. That's a tall order. <laughs> That's a tall order. What do we got here? Ooh, that's a pretty nice shield. You need an emboldened parapus shield. Huh. And this guy. It's not a great cane. Oh, okay, so we can get a weird. So we can get Griffin Wings to get an emboldened carapace shield here, which is a strength shield. And then we can use it to get a stalwart carapace shield, which we could already get a stalwart stalwart carapace shield from him. What is the point of this? That is Weird. I guess you can like go ahead and try out the emboldened carapace shield and just be like, eh, it's not for me. I'm just gonna get this. <laughs> but if you wanted that in the first place, you could just get it from this guy. Am I missing something? It's so weird. There must be some story behind it. They both have the same last name. 
So maybe they're a little bit, um, yeah, I'm not going to comment anymore on that. Maybe they're missing some, some IQ, say it that way. So again, I need to start, I need to start skills. I need to start with fragility, I realized. I need to start battles with fragility. So I'll use fragility, arcane echo, then ineptitude, and try and get a double, try and time it right where I get double ineptitudes. Then while they're blinded, I can use the phantom pain combo. Yeah, that was good. Okay, there's a lot of enemies around here. Which direction do I want to go? Oh, okay. We just need to go north. I think... I think there's like a middle exit on this side. Because if I go all the way up, I'm actually headed towards Beacon Perch. Which would be kind of cool to explore this area, but no, we want to head to Grin's Footprint. So anyway, I need to head north, I guess. Boyak Master first. Go ahead and eat these interrupts. Get them all out, guys. Wow, how many are there? Nice. Yeah, I got double inter. I got both ineptitudes off on that guy pretty successfully. So my ineptitude's down, but I still have my classic combo there. Whoops. One more coming up. If I can, I would like to get an ineptitude off to block that giant stomp. Doyok master. He's trying his hardest to heal his in his teammates, but no luck. There's a lot of enemies here. What's killing these guys? It looks like the blessed griffins are fighting, but mm. nice. We interrupted his spell shield. Really cool terrain over here. Oh, did I get it off? Darn. Okay, they're clumped up. Good for fragility. Nice. The good thing is, if I ca cast in Eptitude on that herder while he's next to the Griffin, they can still take damage from it indirectly. There we go. I'm gonna hug this left side. Oh no, maybe, yeah. As I said, I think there's an exit somewhere along this right side, actually.
Oh, they have Smite Hex as well. This way. Why did I not start with fragility? Hmm. Don't answer that. Make some funny noises. Oh, it's a dead end over here? Whoa, there's a chest down there. Can you actually go down here? Creepy. Oh, I guess we figured out what was killing these guys. That's a lot of burst. <laughs> Pretty hairy. That was almost real bad. Just try and get fragility off on all of them. I need to be going this direction actually. It looks like a dead end. Mon Marnta Doom Speaker. Fry Dark Day. There's two bosses here. Looks like Necro and. Oh, it's a human in it. Sure. It's a monk. Peace and Harmony. Never seen this skill before. What is he using? Some sort of blood magic. Tried to change, change uh, targets there to try and bike down the monk but reacted too fast. Let me finish this guy off. There we go. Mon Marta Doomsday level 28. This isn't part of some quest, is it? He's not attacking so ineptitude wasn't working. Random collector down here. Cool. Never seen those bosses before. That's a nice staff, actually. 2020 Illusion staff. Alright, I think I was wrong to come down here. I actually need to go up and around here, maybe. Easy does it. Yeah, I see the path now. I got the arcane arc. Oh. Interrupted my friggin. No. I need to start with ineptitude against these herders to try and get that interrupt off
All right, let's try that again. Ineptitude, right on this herder. How did that not go off? Is it not an attack? I don't get it. I definitely use ineptitude on him. I don't think I was late. Try and steal his energy. There we go. A lot of mountain trolls. This will be fun to use an aptitude on. Look at this. They should they should collect right. If I can get them to stack up right here. There we go. This is gonna be crazy damage. <laughs> Ooh, shiver PT, nice. They didn't do any damage, they just immediately got AoE blinded. <laughs> That's rough. This blind lasts 10 seconds too, by the way. Very good. That one has um I believe. Oh no, it has illusionary weapon. We already got that one. Come on, attack. Really good um, arming spot for mountain trolls, I think. Smuck Fumball Fumbool. A warrior boss here. I got the ice golem first, I think. Battle Rage, a good one. Communing Staff? That dude dropped a Ritualist Staff. Whoa. Huh. I didn't know Ritualist item or uh, other campaign items could drop. In prophecies. Why is my guy running like? Oh, I got rubber banded. Pushing the buttons good. Pushing those buttons. Staff, backtracker, another. What? It, that's the neck. Okay, that's the spiteful spirit boss. Hmm. Would have been nice to bring capture. But as I said before in the previous video, I don't think there's much need to go like. Go into curses as a Nesmer, actually. Even though it seems like there's a lot of like use for it, a main, uh, a primary, a primary um, necromancer is going to be way more effective, I believe, than a primary mesmer going curses. Our teammates are just kiting around too much. And Neptitude's kind of not very effective. 
unless the enemy is actually attacking. But since our teammates are running around and kiting, they're not able to trigger an up to two. Even though that damage is really nice, it's not. It doesn't seem like that damage is as uh, reliable as other ones like Energy Surge or even just going Fever Dreams and um, Fragility. Where is this place? I think this guy has Signet of Judgment. A really good smiting, smiting uh, elite skill for monks. I wasted an aptitude again. And now that they're attacking, I can use it. There's a portal. I see it. Is that it up there? There it is. That's where we need to go. How do I get up there? Dang. Went the wrong way. I need to go. Really? I gotta go all the way down here? This place is like a maze. go that way so getting good experience we rely like i realize getting experience even at level 20 is useful because you want to stock up on these skill points to use to buy more like signets of captures or skills that you miss from skill trainers so getting experience is not useless What? Oh, their giant stomp is much faster. Okay, he's attacking, so I can use an aptitude there. An aptitude here. Oh, he got interrupted before he could attack. He's just running away. Another build I thought about doing is since I captured Echo last mission, or last video, I might make like a Elementalist Nuker build or something and get Arcane Echo, Echo, Meteor shower or something. <laughs> Just try and get off triple meteor showers. I don't know if it'll be any good. Probably not. Is probably the answer to that question. Dang, these Azure Shadows come up everywhere. The Signet of Judgment is a very reliable knockdown. These Azure Remains are really good to salvage because you get glittering 
piles of glittering dust, which are worth like at least 300 gold per 10 pieces. Payday. Okay, Glint's, Glint's footprint. And then finally we can get to Deldramore uh, War Camp, which is the staging area for entering Soros Furnace. I thought I was going to get to Soros Furnace today. Okay, this is the guy that gives Soros Furnace. This is the main uh, quest giver for Soros Furnace. 10,000 experience. So there's different tasks. The first one we're going to do is Galen Trask. He then marks it for us. But let's go ahead and get to the Delgemore War Camp first. This is nice for fighting the dwarves here, actually, because I can get an idea of how useful this build is going to be. Oh, they cast Resurrect. So interrupts are going to be really useful here. That's good to know. He's telling us how to get to Deldramore War Camp. It's this way. What does that say on the sign? Can you read it? It's gibberish. That was a lot of damage. They just got out of there. They were scared. So, Ineptitude is really good against these builds, or these enemies that just clump up. Basically makes them, like, we're not taking any damage from them. It'd be so frustrating from their point of view. And now it's marked. Yeah. Yes, we got a chest. No new elite skills here. We captured all of them. At least for the Mesmers, I mean. Oh, he's really not using Giant Stomp. Finally he used it. Something's getting rid of all my energy. Yeah, I'm gonna change my build up. I think I'm gonna go to, um... Fever dreams or something. With some interrupts. Actually, fever dreams is it's, it's pretty good interrupt by itself because it puts dazed on the casters. Gold monk staff. Come on, it's not even useful for me. About that max energy. What is that called? Yeah, max staff of wrapping of shelter and max insightful staff head. Those are nice upgrades. Especially this insightful staff head. Cool. Kilroy Stone Skin. He's a quest giver for Soros Furnace, but that's not the one we're going to use first. I'm going to go down the list. There's one, two, three, four, five missions we got to use. Uh, we uh, no. Actually, I think there's only four technically. Yeah. Galen Trask is the main guy, and once you finish all of them, you actually get a pretty cool like trophy or title or something. So it's it's a useful thing to get.
The other build I liked a lot was the Crippling Anguish. That might be fun also. Hmm. I have some choices. Dang, I'm getting bursted. Bellblade. That's a cool one. Can always bring back illusionary weaponry too. Had a lot of fun with that build. Okay, we made it. We made it. So this was the first episode of our Soros Furnace journey. From the, uh, this will be our epilogue one. This might be a... Yeah, I would like to try and finish the Soros Furnace before moving on to the next campaign. But if I get enough votes and enough excitement ready to... Uh, start the next campaign i might cut this one short like to to be continued for a later time also um but i don't want to i don't want to put too much time before starting on to the next campaign but yeah let me remind you again there is a poll up active poll up if you want some input into which campaign i play next uh please vote give me a good idea of what uh what you'd like to see and then until then, until that poll finishes, I'll be continuing my exploration of Soros Furnace. Well, yeah. Anyway, if you liked it, keep watching. Catch it later. Catch the next episodes. I've, I've been putting out episodes almost every day or every other day. So keep your eye on the channel. Anyway, until next time. Peace.